Welcome back to our continued conversation about forest ecology and how the different parts of the forest work and live together. Trees and animals, water and soil, rocks and weather. There are so many parts to a forest and I'm wondering what you drew and wrote this week. Hello, kindergarten and first grade wild riders of Americ. Welcome back. We are still thinking about forest ecology this week and how different parts of the forest work together. The living things, the non-living things, how they're a system where each part works together with another part. And I want to show you how I went back into my nature journal and I added color to the pages I wrote when we were together. And you can see here the green of the trout lily, the reddish brown of the rotting wood, and the more dull brown, the not knotted wood. You can see too, I added color around my words that described my senses. We talked earlier about sensory words like see and feel and hear and touch. And I included those here. You can see in yellow. I did the same thing with my poem, Forest Sky Party. And I added a full blue background to this one. And in doing that, I allowed myself to revisit the forest in my mind, in my notebook. I was in the house, but drawing and thinking about these colors and adding the different browns and the sun, how the sun streamed through, allowed me to relive that. And then I again have feel, see, hear, see, feel. So our senses, using senses words, helps us notice more. And I'd like to encourage you if you go out with your nature journal this weekend, or even if you write in your nature journal inside your house, pick out the window, or think about a place you've been, allow your senses to take in information in different ways, and then use that on the page. So I went back in actually and did this again. And first I'd like you to notice the bottom of this page. Do you see all those little trees there? I carved those. I wanna show this to you because this is a neat thing um, to do. It's a little sharp, but it's something that you could maybe do together with help from an adult. I took an eraser and then with this carver, this is called a linoleum carver. It's pretty sharp. I only use it carving away from myself. And you could try stripes or something with a grown-up guiding your hand, perhaps. Inside, there are different tips and tools. But what I did is I drew trees on, and then I carved out what you see here that's white is what I carved and left what remains so that I can take this and on a stamp pad, I can stamp. And right on my hand here, I can stamp those trees. I love to see the sea and the sun. There they are. So this is a different kind of a craft I enjoy doing. And we can take whatever ways we love to express ourselves and bring those ways to our nature journals. So this last thing I did to show you was I decided to take another whole double page spread where I wrote across the top the forest. And I wrote all of these different senses. I see, I hear, I smell, I feel, I touch, I wonder. I did not write, I taste, because I'm not going eating things in the forest. So I see moss, big trees, small trees, holes in wood. I hear chickadees, wind in trees, a truck, my feet. I smell fresh air and soil when I bend down. I feel calm, happy, and focused. I touch rough bark, soft moss cold water, crumbly old dead wood. And I wonder how long does it take for a tree or an animal to decompose or rot away into soil? And how can I learn my trees? I saw so much bark and I wanted to know, how does a person learn trees just from their bark? Just like how does a person learn a bird? from its song. So these questions came to me as I wrote in my journal, and I want you to know that spending time on these pages is really different than sitting in front of a computer for me or sitting in front of a different kind of screen. I do feel focused and calm and more like myself. And I wish for you that you find some peaceful time and some opportunity to enjoy 
whatever nature is around you. Where I'm sitting right now, I could reach over here and take this little dandelion leaf and draw that in my nature journal. And the act of drawing it would teach me something about dandelions and about drawing and about nature. So I wish, wish you a good time in your journal and a good time outside. And I'll see you really soon. While I have been chatting with you, Firepaw has been lying right beside me. He says hello. This week, I wish you lots of exploration in your nature journal and good time in the forest. We can look at and think about the forest from far away or right close up and we can draw and write and wonder. I would like to read you the final poem from my first book, Forest Has a Song, illustrated by Robin Gorley, published by Clarion. Farewell. Forest breathes a spicy breeze, it blows into my ear. When you go home, do not forget my leaves, my song, my dear. Remember, I am forest. Remember, I am here. Right wild, Mama Maranick friends, right wild.